Hi, I'm Yun Zhang. I'm a Hangzhou and a London-based photographer. I just graduated from BA photography course at the London College of Communication in July 2022. Um, and now I'm working as a part-time photography assistant for my commercial photographer friend and also as a volunteer in an elderly care center in Hangzhou, China. Um, I usually work with photography in uh, a contemporary documentary way with the vi uh, conceptual visual expression and i have been focusing on mentalized uh, cultures and the groups uh, in many of my previous projects which you can check some in my portfolio um, and i think contemporary documentary photography is very straightforward and a powerful way to uh, explain visually explore topics and that's why I like it and uh, I think like based on my personality I really like to talk to uh, different people from different backgrounds and learn from their words to understand various perspectives and life experiences uh, of the world that I never know um, and I think the stories and the emotions uh, I got from these peoples and the scenes uh, will be the focus for the creation and um, about the technical skills uh, I think the film will always be my first choice um, that really depends on the projects that I will do but like for my personal projects uh, I would say like analog camera will always be my first choice rather than the digital uh, because I think the color and the textures of the film can um, really give some more emotions to the images and that, that's what I really like to create with um, and uh, I also like to work in the dark room um, I think I just really enjoy that like that slow process of really making an image by my hand I can really just focus on the details of the images and like just think more of the content uh, and I also make books uh, I think that's more like physical and interactive way for the audience to see your works um, like especially when the uh, audience flipping with the pages they can have more physical connections to your work I think that's totally different from just see them on screen um, and about the artists that I'm influenced by I think uh, I want to mention two artists here um, the first one is Alex Soss uh, I would say he's really f very first artist that uh, inspired me to be a photographer especially in a documentary way um, uh, for example like his work sleeping by the Mississippi which I think has really great impact on me because uh, reflecting on my very early projects um, I think I only documented things in a very subjective view um, and I will never like think what was happening behind the images so that will made my uh, visual language uh, very um, inconsistent with the subject's real experiences but like I will never feel that way in Alex Sauce's work Sleeping by the Mississippi uh, like although this work is a really personal journey for him to to the Mississippi but uh, like his perspective still like integrated a part of the Mississippi's community and life it's, it's kind of like he put himself really into that local place and uh, become close to them I can really feel uh, invisible but really strong emotion which belongs to the Mississippi and from Exos I think that's really incredible so like after inspired by his work I just really realized that the importance of understanding 
um, like the subject's real background. Like that can really help me to make my projects more objective and uh, sympathetic. And uh, the second artist I want to talk about is uh, Halle Ware. Uh, I think her early fashion works and some interviews on the fashion magazines really inspired me to be to like express myself as a female photographer and after I become more interested in her artworks I found that I found that like besides her fashion works uh, some of her works of uh, fine art and documentary are also really incredible like they all have really uh, strong visual impacts uh, with emotional metaphors and I, so I think like audience can really um, easily and emotionally uh, like get ro uh, resonated by the atmosphere of her uh, pictures. I think her works really told me like how to combine uh, conceptual visual aesthetics with the pure documentary photography. So um, in general, I think I will never stop learning photography. I think I still have a lot of uh, space to improve and develop myself. And based on my research of the course in Kingston, uh, I learned that I have many chances uh, to explore like various topics in different uh, academic areas. And I think that can help me to like know like the existing social issues and learn how to use photography to discuss these topics and uh, I also want to like apply the knowledges from different cultural and social backgrounds to like to my work in a more artistic and theoretic way and I also like want to connect with uh, like more artists and photographers to have more collaboration works uh, that's what I'm really expecting for because I really found out that like the ability of a person is really limited but sometimes maybe you can find yourself uh, like a new skills in a group work so I really uh, like expecting to have more group works I think that can like make more values on some specific topics or like something like that so yeah, that's pretty much about me. Thanks for watching.